What's going on, Counter-Strike fans? My name's Luke the Notable. Welcome to 100 Drops CSGO. In this video, I'll be playing 100 games of CSGO, hopefully getting better with each new game. So grab some snacks and a diffusal kit, because we're dropping in to game number one. All right, here we are, game one, and I haven't played CSGO on the channel before, so I'll talk about how it works. It's mostly for my dad, he watches my videos, and he's definitely never played Counter-Strike. In every game of Counter-Strike, there's two teams, the terrorists and the counter-terrorists. Your objective will vary, but it's a war game, so pretty much everything boils down to shooting. But it's not like other games where you respawn. In Counter-Strike, you only get one life per round, so make a count. To win as a terrorist, we can either plant a bomb or kill everyone, and this round, we killed everyone. And if you've never played Counter-Strike before, that's pretty much all you need to know. It's fairly straightforward. I personally haven't played much Counter-Strike in my gaming career, but 100 drops can be a perfect opportunity for me to play a lot of games and gain some skill. And I think by the end of this video, you'll see how good I got. And hey, if you like it, let me know. I played casual Counter-Strike for these hundred, and I'd love to do ranked if you want it. Anyway, in game one, we absolutely destroyed this team. They didn't take a single round on us. Yay, terrorism. Playing counter-terrorist game two, and I gotta say, I'm really not that good. We slapped them last game, but it wasn't exactly my fault. Counter-Strike's one of those games that's easy to pick up, but very hard to master, and you'll see that throughout these hundred games. And I know for a fact I'm gonna get called out for using the shotgun, but I'm a noob, leave me alone. Though even in these early games, sometimes I was able to get lucky. Here I got a triple kill with some expert spraying. We had some guys in our team that weren't playing, so we lost. One of the biggest things to get used to when playing Counter-Strike is the shooting. It's not like other games. Every weapon's recoil behaves a little differently, part of the reason I use the shotgun. Rifles are objectively better, but they're harder to use, and I'm telling you, if you're a noob, have no shame in the shotgun. I had no shame. It was pretty much the only way I could get kills in these early games. The op sniper is also really new player friendly in that it's pretty easy to use. One shot, one kill. Oh yeah, you hit him in the toe, he's gonna die. It's a great weapon. However, you can't just spawn with the best guns every round. You have to have money, and you get money by getting kills and winning rounds. So you can't just rely on the sniper. You've gotta get good with that AK. And yeah, now I think I'm done explaining Counter-Strike, and I'm just gonna play the game. But as you can see by my amazing accuracy, not well. The people of the internet will definitely call you out on it, but yeah, if you're new, you Use the shotgun. It's almost always good for one kill. The other weapons in Counter-Strike just take some practice, and by game four, I don't have much of that. This game was exciting. It was gonna come down to the final round. We're tied up seven to seven. Yeah, I'm fighting mostly bots. Don't judge me. I'm sure you were great at this game when you first started, Timmy. Two verse one with 20 seconds left. I should have just sat back and won the game, but pushed out and died. Oh well, it's only game four and casual. In the notes of game five, it says that I didn't play well. Not even the shotgun was gonna save me. I rely very heavily on the element of surprise in these early games, it's a winning strategy. That's a fancy way of saying that I camp a lot, but in real war, you'd camp too. Likewise, game six, there isn't much footage of me doing anything at all. So instead of showing several rounds of me looking like a fool, I think we're just gonna go to the next one. Oh yeah, I played really well in game seven, even got some AK kills, but I think it's just because the entire enemy team was bots. You know what, man? Practice is practice, I'll take it, even if they are just computers. Despite the enemy team being mostly bots, it was still gonna come down to the final round. We won, I didn't help much. Not many high highlights in game eight, I spent most rounds spectating. I did get this nice headshot, but I assure you I had no plan of doing so. The recoil can be weird. To a new player, it seems like luck, but it's just part of the skill gap. Like I said earlier, easy to pick up, hard to be notable. Another bad game, game nine, because I was playing real people and they wouldn't come right up next to me with my shotgun. I'm trying to find anything in this game that could be considered a highlight. I planted the bomb. That's cool, I guess. Spent a lot of this game trying to use the AK, and it went about as well as you might expect. But for the first time, Ever, I went positive against actual people in game 10. I was proud. Barely positive, but positive. I'm making progress. That's kind of the whole point of this video. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm sweating profusely with every kill and feel lucky to be alive when the dust settles. But even though I don't feel that good, I'm still having a ton of fun. There's a reason Counter-Strike's the most played game on Steam. I was dead when we won, but we won. Hooray! All right, guys, listen, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I play pretty bad in these early games, but you know, Counter-Strike can be a little tough. And it sucks, because there's not much to show because most of the time I'm dead. I do get better, but it took a while. Like I said, easy to pick up, hard to master. Most new games I play are like this, but with Counter-Strike being so old, there was quite a skill gap to climb. I mean, we could watch the people I spectate, they were pretty good. And with what I know now about Counter-Strike, watching some of this old gameplay is just a little painful. I really wish I could show you some form of highlight, but they just don't exist because I'm not that good. Wanna see me fail to clutch
such a 1v1 in front of my whole team. That was funny. The notes for game 19 says I was playing like poop and then had to poop and got kicked. I will say while they were sloppy, I did have two kills round eight of game 20. Yeah, at this point, I'm just good if they're not looking at me. This round game 22, I'm alone, but all I have to do is not die for 40 seconds. With three seconds left, I could hear the other guy coming and luckily he didn't even shoot at me. And that would be my only moment of being good. There was an AFK aimbot in game 23. I'm just gonna skip to the next one. As a team game 24, we got smashed pretty hard, but I played decently, I guess. However, game 25, I found out about the glory of the shotgun. And I'd say even with the rifles, my aim's getting a little better. I was MVP here. <laughs> didn't do much in this one until the final round where I got a few kills. Oh yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. I've got some friends that don't play Counter-Strike because they say it's too hard. Well, you used to not be able to walk, but you learned. I mean, look at your boy, I just got a headshot through smoke. By game 30, I wrote down in the notes that I played very well. It took 30 games, but hey, at least I'm here. My point is, try Counter-Strike. You'll get good eventually. I'm not amazing every round, but at least I get how the game works, and you know what? When it matters most, sometimes I clutch. Yeah, I still definitely struggle with that AK recoil sometimes, though. Ooh. Funniest thing that happened this game was when a bot on my team just followed around this counter-terrorist. The whole time I was thinking, just shoot him, bro. The game's on the line. This is casual counter-strike. He stabbed him. More bots game 33. It's fun to spray him down, but doesn't feel too honorable. I got my first AK skin game 34. Bought it for like 10 cents on the marketplace, and you can tell. Should have bought this skin a long time ago. My accuracy almost immediately went up. That's crazy. Oh, imagine how good I'd be with one of them $2,000 skins. I was playing decently in this one, but the game decided that fun time is over. I joined game 36 seven in the match point, whatever I'll play. Two verse five, now a two verse four. Now it's a one verse two, the bomb's planted, I gotta get that defuse to win. Terrorist poked his head out and I poked his brain. One guy was left, but he just let me get the defuse, cool. Lot of bots game 38 on both sides though, it was fair. We won real quick in this one and I helped. That AK recoil's still a little tough for me. Shotguns though? Oh, I can use shotguns all day long. Listen, if you're having trouble with accuracy, just test out the recoil pattern at spawn, no one will make fun of you. And you know what? In game 40, I think it's best we just don't show what happened here. Honestly, I should probably blur this. Still not feeling that confident here after missing some shots, I just ran away. Luckily in this game, I could rely on my team. They were great. It also helped that the enemies weren't great. This guy couldn't even knife me when I wasn't even looking at him. That was kind of funny. Some more stuff happened, but nothing was more interesting than that. Also, a few good plays in game 42 that could have been better if I hit more shots. You could say that about all these games so far. That would have been cool if I killed him. And I'm really not sure why I keep trying to use this revolver. I'm just bad with it. I mean, I'm bad with most guns, though. Why did I stop shooting him? I'm getting there, but you can tell I'm not quite there yet. Joined game 44 incredibly late, and we're only two rounds away from winning. I'll still have some fun. Got a new skin for this shotgun and tried it out on the skin of this terrorist. And this one. But not that one. He was too far away. That was about it. I was dead when I got MVP, though. Kind of cool. The notes of game 45 say that I played absolutely awful, but I've never played this map before. I guess that's fair. Oh, yeah. I played awful, and because of that, there's no highlights. So carry on. Playing really good game 46 until you realize that this is footage from the warm-up round. The best thing that happened to me was a double kill in round 11. I was awarded for having the most deaths on the team. Yeah. Got myself a couple fast kills game 47. I could have been more efficient, but you know I'm working on it. And then the notes say nothing too notable, which is very accurate, unlike me. While I love the op sniper, I don't really mess around with the SSG. You have to hit him in the head to kill, and I'm not that great at that. But I'm learning. This series shouldn't be called 100 Drops. It should be called 100 Stumbles. Decided that accuracy be damned game 49 here. I wasn't able to see and I still got a kill with the shotgun. Oh, I got lots of kills with the shotgun. I'm sure it made the other guys really mad. Even got myself a nice triple kill to finish the whole game. That felt pretty notable. Game 50, the matchmaking system was giving me some problems, so I decided, hey, I'll play a game against some bots. I don't think it would have made for a good video, but I really should have started with bots. This was a lot less intimidating. Taking out lifeless computers is never going to make you better. These guys pretty much just stood there. They're bots. There was no challenge whatsoever but at least I could have learned how some of the guns worked. I will say I had way too much fun dominating these bots. I won't do it in game 51, but it was exhilarating. Started off game 51 with a nice pistol round to set the tone. Held my own and wasn't a burden. That's pretty much all you can ask for in casual. Yeah, this one came down to the wire and I clutched out with a nice headshot. It was one verse five in the end. Good job, terrorism. Did a lot of good work game 52 as well. Absolutely mowed them down in round three. They just kept coming. Yeah, I'm still shotgunning after 50 games. It
it works for noobs, and it also works for people with a little bit of experience. Nice triple kill there. Thought I was gonna pop off with a killionaire the next round, but didn't get any of them. Oh well, ain't no. Boo, terrorism. Did a little sniping with the Scar Game 53. It's pricier than the op and doesn't kill in one hit. I'm not sure why anyone uses it, but I got two kills. Yeah, nothing else too notable happened that one. Pretty clinical game. P90'd my way to MVP in Game 54. I just felt good with it. I'm quite the sprayer. Pretty notable game all around. My AK shot's finally starting to get pretty consistent. I mean, look at that. I handled that recoil. Yeah, crushed him this game, and I was part of the reason. Game 55, I started by getting a new gun skin from a case. I'm not a big fan of this system, but hey, it works, I guess. And then I joined a game late, and it was already over. This matchmaking system is awesome. Didn't really do anything game 56 until I got the op, and then I was dead late. But you can't really blame me. It's the op, and it's awesome. Yeah, that nice little one-shot's just so satisfying. You know what else is satisfying? Crushing your enemy. And we did that. Playing a few games with Mater starting game 57. He's never played Counter-Strike ever. And the audio's messed up for these ones. There's no gameplay sound, just my voice hyping him up. One taps are pretty much gonna be... Oh, shit. Nice. Everything's more fun with friends, even terrorism, even if there is no audio. Yeah, and the sound's still messed up. Game 58, I just didn't notice. There was an aimbotter on our team for this game, so we won, but it didn't feel that good. He, like, literally just looked at a, at a, at a door. Aimed at the door and headshotted the guy. Sounds back, game 59. Hooray! I got lots of kills, but it didn't seem to be enough. Yeah, our team got destroyed. I played well. Whatever, it's casual. Gotta tell you, I'm really starting to love the SMGs. They're filling my shotgun roll pretty well. They're also a little cheaper, so I can afford an op later in the game, which is what I really want. Hey, got two kills with it this round. This one came down to the final round, and I got the last kill. That felt pretty notable. Hey, yo, those are some real dirty headshots. Game 61. Because they were not moving. Listen, I also killed a guy who was moving and was the MVP, so shove it. The notes say that I literally looked pro in round 10. I guess that was a nice shot. I think pro is a bit of an overstatement. I was probably just hyped for this double kill. Eh, you know, I also saved the day with another double kill in the same round. Still, I know the pros are way better. Regardless of how you think of me, I did look good this game. Remember how I looked on, like, game 4. I played well all of game 62, but I was able to really pop off in the final round. Got three and the last guy. Good game. The game wasn't on the line for this particular play in game 63, but I still thought it was good. Now that I look at it, I kind I just planted the bomb and sat in a corner and waited for the guy to come into my shotgun range. But, you know, I still won. Yeah, did a lot of good work for my team this game. We won, just no really cool highlights. Got a really nice round winning headshot kill, game 64. Even zoomed in and slowed down, you can barely even see it. Couple slick shots in this one, but you know those kills always feel the best. One versus one situation here. I've got the bomb planted. Let's see if I clutch. Ha ha! I did! Camping for the win! I was an absolute menace this whole game. It's definitely my skins that's made me better. After winning round seven, I got myself two kills. Guess they're not keeping their guns. Played so well in that one, my computer decided not to show it. Got a dead teammate's op, game 66, and didn't let him down. This was a tough game, neck and neck the whole time, and it's gonna end in the final round. Yeah, but we smashed him in the final round. It was six on one. Joined game 67 late, and we're already whooping them. Let's get this over with. I got a few kills, nothing out of the ordinary. I don't feel remorse anymore. I got the last kill too, that's always fun. The notes say mega clutch round one, and that's very accurate. With five seconds left, I picked up the bomb and planted. Last guy tried to defuse and I shot him in the head. That's what you get for messing with terrorism. I had a few other great plays in this game, but we just weren't able to win. Sometimes it's like that. All right, I have no idea what happened to the original game 69, so I just played this one. Joined late. Let's see if we can clutch. Oh, I see why the terrorists were losing. Small penis was AFK. It's game 69. I'm not even mad. The comeback started round 10. I think the terrorist team just had enough people playing on it for once. We were about to lose it all round 14, but good thing I was on the team. Stop that defusal. Final round. This is it. And I just hit a two for one op. That's cool. We had 10 seconds to kill everyone or get the bomb down. And thanks to me, it's a two verse one. You know, I think he could have planted if he ran with his knife out, but he ran with his gun and the bomb and that was super slow and we lost. Oh, well, back to domination in game 70. Yeah, it helps when you're pretty deadly with the op. I was dead when we won, but we won nonetheless. You can tell me not to use the shotgun all you want, but then I'll show you a clip like this and yeah, I'm going to keep using the shotgun. Don't get me wrong. These days I'm a little better with the AK, but you can't tell me that that wouldn't have gone better with a shotgun. And that's about all the clips that I have for game 71. The other team was just good. However, game 72 was the opposite. It was mostly a team of bots, which obviously allowed me to play atrociously and still end up living. The only time the bots get dangerous is when there's like three of them. That happened here. So slowly but surely, I shotgunned my way to victory. Hooray. Still hiding in corners and completely outplaying guys in game 73. Listen, if you didn't want to get shotgunned, why'd you come in shotgun distance? Round seven of this one, I got myself a triple kill to absolutely save the day. All with the op, I felt amazing. Well, now that I think about 
it, I was on the terrorist team, so I didn't really save the day, but you know what I mean. Game 74 was an absolute victory. We took all eight rounds, it wasn't even hard. I didn't have anything super amazing happen, just some single kills. But in game 75, I got tons of kills, mostly with the shotgun. Don't think less of me for it. I was defending a house. There's nothing better for that than a shotgun. Shotguns are for noobs, they said. You'll never get any kills with it. It has no range. Joined game 76 late and promptly got to shooting guys in the back of the head with a shotgun. Also shot guys in the front of the head. I care not where the bullets go. Our team was down. I joined and then we won. I wonder if that means anything. No, it means nothing because I joined the next game late. Our team was down and we lost. Oh well, at least I ruined that guy's op. More shotgunning game 78. I didn't realize how many of my kills were shotgun kills until I started making this video. Yeah, I guess even after 80 games, I'm still pretty shaky with the rifles. They're tough to use, but the shotguns are still pretty easy. I for sure got better though. That's the point of hunter drops. Didn't show in this game though. We lost all eight rounds. Woohoo! But then I was absolutely shredding in game 80. Look at that. Then I got to hopping because at least I'm accurate with that. Even after 80 games, it's satisfying. One guy left in the final round and I was hoping he was going to come down my hallway, but he didn't. Still one. I always love getting that bomb planted, but we're down a guy. Let's see if I can clutch. Oh yeah, they came in, but I handled them with the terrorist tech nine. Later, I won around with a shotgun. He should have negotiated. We won every single round this game. Not sure if it's because we're good or if the matchmaking system is bad. I don't want to bash CS too much. It's casual. I'm cool with it. Really nice kill here in game 82. Not because it was a shotgun, but the bomb carrier dropped the bomb. It was in such an awkward spot. I got more kills. Great play. That is until someone got me. Guess the shotgun doesn't work every time. Stuck to the scar in this one a little bit more. Got a few more kills and became the MVP. I like it. Gotta say though, the op's still more satisfying. It'll always have a place in my heart. There was some weird stuff going on game 83. This guy tried to knife the CT and then the CT allowed him to plant the bomb. Not sure what's going on there. In the end, he killed him. Still, that was weird. At the end of the day, it's just casual Counter-Strike. I'm serious about that ranked video though. Let me know if you want to see it. I was MVP for kills a couple times in game 84, of course, thanks to my shotgunning. One guy even tried to flash me, but I trusted in my shotgun and got through. Close game, but a good game. We won. Spraying my way downtown game 85. I was fairly inconsequential for most of the game, though I did end up saving the hostage. Or, I didn't really save him. I shot his captor in the head. Terrorism's complicated. I was useful, sat back looking at my gun, playing heavy defense, but not many cool kills because of it. Unfortunately, not many cool kills in game 86 either. Our team also got handled pretty well. Unless you think shots of me dying are cool, in that case, here you go. Game 87, the lobby was filled with mostly bots. I can like this from time to time. I just want to let you know, throughout the entirety of me recording this video, I didn't know that if there's a bot on your team and you die, you can take him over. Yeah, found that out way after. I guarantee you I would have won this game if I was switching to bots when I died, but I didn't know I could do that and lost. Game 88's pretty laggy, and it's a shame because I got quite a lot of kills. I thought I was insanely big-brained round one of game 89. After getting two quick kills, I quickly ran back to the buy area. My plan was to buy a shotgun in the pistol round, but apparently you can't do that. Mm. Sounds like an attack on my freedom. I'm not sure who the real terrorists are. Still got to try out more shotguns, and in this round, got four with the Mag 7. It pops. I played really well all of game 90, but I generally do in the last 10. I've only got a few more games to to show you that I'm actually improving, though I am still using the shotgun. Did I improve, or did I just find more ways to get cheesy kills? I'm not sure. I just straight up played well game 91, but it's been 91 games, I probably should. Okay, well this was kind of embarrassing, maybe we should go to the next one. Every round game 92, the enemies did a relentless A push, they didn't even try to fake it. I imagine this wouldn't work against the pros, but my team never caught on, it was basically just me defending. I got a lot of kills because of it, but they still wrecked us pretty hard. But no one was wrecking me game 93, my sniper shot was on. In round 13 alone, I got four with the op. It was a close one, but I kept opping, made sure no one was touching A. No one did, and we won. Right back at it, game 94, making some heroic plays with my AK. Yes, I think it's very heroic to shoot a man in the back of the head. This is terrorism. I played really well this game, but was dead when we won it all. I hate that. Joined this game late, bought a shotgun, and went to work with it. Same round, picked up an enemy sniper, and kept killing. Got a total of six in this round, and I gotta say, it felt amazing. I played well the rest of the game, too. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to win, but I got some some nice highlights. And at the end of the day, all that really matters is looking cool. Remember that. Good amount of bots in my lobby, game 96, so I got some nice plays. Despite all the bots, it came down to the final round, but of course, we clutched. Game 97 was also pretty much a 100% bot lobby. Not sure why, it's not like I was playing at 3 a.m. So yeah, I dominated. Put that in the notes. But does it really matter? They were literal computers. Hey, look at that, playing actual people. Game 98, we're just gonna skip to the end. In the match point, we led an assault on A. I was the bomb carrier and did fairly well. 
well. However, after planting the bomb, there was a lot of enemies left. Good thing I just wasted two of them. From there, it was three on one, and we won. I was the MVP. All right, game 99, and you really can't deny that I've gotten better. I did just headshot a guy with the SSG. My early Counter-Strike games in this video were hard, if not totally frustrating, but once I got the hang of it, it's a great game. I really love it. I'm totally down to play more. It's gonna take me a while, though, if I do 100 ranked games. They last about an hour. And if I don't get to playing Minecraft soon, riots are gonna break out in most major cities, but I'll see what I can do. We won game 99, let's get on to 100. It started off like most of the games I play. I got about one kill around, maybe two. Round seven of game 100, I was put in a two versus one situation, but using my op, I was able to clutch. I love being the last one alive as the MVP, such a nice feeling. Round eight, I was also the MVP, they just couldn't touch me. And after saving the bomb and getting myself a nice double kill round 10, I ended up planting the bomb and defending it from two other people, winning the round. All in all, it was an amazing game 100 and an amazing 100 drops. If you'd like to see more, make sure to let me know. Please stay notable, and I'll see you in the next video.